I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm high tech, and I'm ready. Please stop that. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm high tech, and I'm ready. Hey, welcome back to our Super Directs. It's up, Corbin. I am Ray. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. 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 Juicy content. It's Thank you for supporting Patreon. Follow us to the camera. Ring the bell for the notification squad. Bam. And thank you. It's the story of a lovely lady. And uh, today, we're, we're doing another movie review. We're, what <laughs> is going on? It's, it's like they have nothing else to do but sit around and watch movies. <laughs> Factual. Uh, and uh, it's another Unread Kashyap film uh, because I told you we're benching him. Um, but uh, this time it was Dev D. Uh, something we've been told to watch since we watched Dev Das. Um, so basically for like a year. <laughs> yes. Also, also anytime Unread Kashyap is brought up, people bring up Dev D as well. Uh, True. So it, it's, it's one of his most popular films. Uh, it's his adaption, well, his take on Devdas that's been done, what, 10 or 11 times in Indian cinema. Uh, A lot. Um, obviously, we've seen the Devdas with Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's the. And Ashwarya Rai and Madhuri Dixit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but this is. But, and I, I like that one, and you didn't. I think this is Anurad Kashyap's third film. I think it was, uh, or somewhere around there. Do you want to read the synopsis for me, Rick? I do. After breaking up with his childhood sweetheart, a young man finds solace in drugs. Meanwhile, a teenage girl is caught in the world of prostitution. Will they be destroyed, or will they find redemption? Sounds like an uplifting story. <laughs> it does. Yeah, and is it? Let me see. I'm looking at his filmography and where it falls in his... Uh... I know it's early. I think it was third or some somewhere around there because it was well his first film got banned and I, I still don't think it was released and then I think it was Black Friday okay yeah I don't know for sure but anyway it is definitely earlier 2009 2009 and it was introducing Kalki Kaiklin uh, it was saw that uh, I did see that and that well that was that was interesting I didn't know he's the one that introduced her but it's obviously directed uh, and uh, partly written by um, Anurad Kashyap, uh, composers Amit Trivedi, uh, or Trivedi, Tr Trivedi, Trivedi, uh, starring, uh, say their names for me, Rick. Absolutely. Starring, uh, I, I forgive me if I mispronounce his name, I believe it's pronounced Abai, mm -hmm. Abai Dil, mm -hmm. who, plays, who plays Dev, mm -hmm. uh, Mahi Gil, who plays Paro, and obviously we mentioned... Uh, uh, Kalki Kaiklin. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the three yeah, those main are th those characters. Are three, three main ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, so, once again, 100% spoiler review. This has been out since 2009. 100% So go spoiler. watch it. Come back if you don't want to be spoiled. If you do want to be spoiled, you're a, you're a spoiled little boy. You <laughs> naughty. Uh, so, initial thoughts, Rick. Well, I'm going to, there will be a lot of stupid babies who are probably going to be very upset with me um because i did not like it yeah it wasn't my favorite yeah it, yeah it's it, it was uh i w i wanted i really wanted to uh like and i there was i didn't hate every single part of it there were there were there were parts that i did enjoy uh in terms of when cinematography shot some of uh anya kashyaps and his cinematographers i love yeah let's, a lot let's of the start songs. off with that let's um, start off with what we liked but uh well there were there was a lot of shots in it uh, that 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 I did enjoy a lot. Um, There's one where I think he was on a balcony with Kalki, the main guy in Kalki, uh, and I think the street was on this side, and then there was like the red room on this side, or no, the room was green on this side, and then there was a sign right in the middle, and it was just just a beautiful shot. And there was a lot of shots like that, and th that you could see that um, um, Anurag and his, and his cinematographer were playing with a lot but i think the budget for this was actually lower uh, let me see 60 million that can't be correct <laughs> yeah i don't know that can't be correct uh i'd be i'd be shocked 
Um, but yeah, it's the I, I, I did enjoy that part of it. Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, a lot of the songs actually in this. I'm a Trimetti's mm-hmm. really good. One of my favorite part was I don't know if you did you catch the cameo in it. I caught a lot of the DevDos Easter eggs. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. no. Um, Noaz. I totally missed it. Nawaz yeah. was there? Yeah, he was. When? Elvis. He was one of the Elvis dudes? He was one of the Elvis dudes. <laughs> I completely did not pick up on that at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I really enjoyed that because, uh, one, it didn't even look like him, like, at all. Um, oh, clearly. <laughs> but I enjoyed how, once again, how he uses music in his films. I did enjoy I did enjoy that part because it was especially when the, that song came on because it was just two Elvis dudes singing almost not that well uh, mm-hmm. and I thought it was supposed to be like a, like a funny part of the thing and so I was I, I liked that and then a lot of the actual songs in it and the, um, and the way he played with music that way I, I enjoyed uh, what do you think about the parts that you like yeah here's the things that I like there's probably four right off the top of my bat you've already mentioned them so I'm going to be piggybacking on some of the things you, that you said uh the, the the first being i i thought the use of the, all of the music in it was great mm-hmm. uh i thought the cinematography was great mm-hmm. um i thought uh, this is good it, another thing that i think uh, probably is the, the the best thing about it and something i would understand as to why people like this was in 2009 and based on what we've read about it and heard about it is that this basically took all Bollywood convention and just kicked it between the legs and said, Mm -hmm. we don't have to make a Hindi film that follows any kind of stereotype. You want to do a musical number? Cool. Watch me give you these three guys doing this kind of breakdance. There's your Bollywood number. I I almost think it wasn't fair of us um, to watch... They, I mean, because it was kind of like actually what I did with um, Quentin. I had never seen Pulp Fiction until a few years ago. And mm. I had seen almost every single one of other of his films. It's mm. newer films, right? And so mm-hmm. his budget was bigger. His writing is established. He has the um, un- unlimited budget. Um, yeah. His directing yeah. got better. The cast got better. Um, yeah. And then I went back and I watched Pulp Fiction for the first time, and I was just underwhelmed. I was like, right. "Why do people like this so much?" I don't. Right. Uh, and it's almost unfair because you've seen the the film, the 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 director and him grow as an artist and get a lot better. And obviously, when bu- the budget's bigger, and <laughs> that means the writing's sure. better, the acting's better, the the, sure. the sets are better. Uh, so I'm wondering if that's part of it. Um, is that we just we just got off of watching Ugly and Nawazad and Siddiqui in 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 two point uh, It almost wasn't fair. <laughs> yeah, I, I I can see your point. I, yeah. I um I think I was able to disassociate myself and recognize the fact that this was his earlier endeavors yeah. and and the, the other thing i was going to say about it it is it's this is a strange comment but i really believe this it's one of the better directed films i really disliked yeah um and, and that's think, it's very go ahead go ahead i think the main reason i disliked it and you probably agree with me was the main guy who played dev uh he was not good uh, i have a lot of i have a lot of reasons i dislike the film i um I, and uh, and he he is one of them yeah. Um, and, and I want to, I want to be honest without being brutal because yeah. I can be brutal with yeah. this. So yeah. could I, uh, yeah. but he acting is the most important part of films to me. It's like the first thing that, uh, I know and it might not be for everybody, but I think it's hard to overcome bad acting. You can overcome bad writing. We've seen it in like Venom that had future writing, but Tom Hardy made that film watch. Tom Hardy saved it. Yeah. Um, you can overcome even bad directing with good acting. Um, yep. and, uh, but all those things are important for a great film to come together. All of them have to be great. But Absolutely. I, it's hard to overcome if you have bad acting. 
especially, yeah, it was from, so your, especially from your lead. It's it's hard to watch. It's hard for me to root for him if I'm supposed to root for him. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, because yeah. I'm just I'm rooting for him to like die because I, I want him to be off screen. Uh, <laughs> and it's, it's one of those things I was just I was I was hoping uh, he would stop coming on screen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I um, I it was interesting because I found him to be enjoyable in Deborah because mm -hmm. that's the only other place we've seen him. I thought he was he was really good in that. Uh, this and I'm looking at it right now and I, it's, I'm finding out kind of what I expected. Um, I don't his casting people. I don't know that he ever used them again. I could be wrong, but I don't see his casting people in this. Well, to be the it, same people he's used before. It's one. It was an early work for him, so he still was correct. Anurad Kashyap, the name, correct. Um, and so it's it's understandable, um, but it's also once again at the time, just like uh, even though people love Pulp Fiction now, it's that was a groundbreaking film, especially in Bollywood, to do this in Bollywood cinema. No one's ever really done this before, and so mm -hmm. I, I, I get that. I do. Yeah. Uh, and I get I get why people like it, but coming from 2.0 and coming from uh, ugly and gangs, it's a severe downgrade. Uh, yeah, I, it, it really is. It's a sophomoric. All, all, at times, he made some continuity mistakes that just it was. As much as I, it was one of those things where you can see the diamond in the rough. Mm -hmm. You you really can. You can see, and this is why I like seeing it in the order we're seeing it because going back to see his earlier thing uh i can see i can see the brilliance that is about to come out um and uh, but but i just i could not get past the uniformly bad acting from everyone yeah it was um, there was uh, hardly anyone even Kalki at times i was, she got better as she, i th think she got in, into her older self in the film uh, but when she was trying to be a kid, it was hard to watch. Uh, and that's strange coming from Kulki. Uh, you know, we love Kulki. Uh <laughs> yeah, it is. But at the same, at the same time, I understand it because, um, I, I'm, I'm supposing at that time, you know, she, she clearly had not, and I bet she looks back on that and she might even cringe seeing her earlier work. Cause she's everybody, every actor, every artist grows and gets better as they, they move on. And yeah, I mean, the, the one word that is the most important thing for acting is believability. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and even within the construct, for example, of something as stylized as, as Dev Das's um, theatricality, mm -hmm. um, for me, I know you disagreed, for me, it didn't lose its believability for me, even though it was stylized. It, for this example... Uh, w being honest without being brutal, because I don't want to be unkind to the man, because uh, I'm sure he was doing his best with what he had. I, I could be wrong, but um, the character of Dev, I honestly don't know that that man's ever had a drink in his life. The actual actor. It's po it's possible. Yeah, I don't believe he's ever had alcohol <laughs> before. Uh, he's clearly never been drunk, um, and I I never believed he ever had an alcohol or a drug problem ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I've also found, uh, the, and this, I, I just, I found some moments with writing to be hard to deal with. Just, yeah. yeah. I, I had to labor through this one. Yeah. And it's, it was unfortunate because I was, I was really looking forward to it. Um, seeing the trailer looked great. Uh, but, um, so I don't, I don't really know. Maybe it's just one that's not for us. It's more for Indian audiences that that happens for. Maybe I just don't like Devdas the story, because uh, I well, I hate it. Would be different because this wasn't Devdas the yeah. story. This was I, this was that was another thing I had about this. Where at first I thought I was um, wonder. I almost was wondering if he was trying to pay homage to the SRK one with some of the overacting. Because <laughs> that's that's the only. Because I've not seen any bad acting in any of his films this is the first time true and so i was like we we just talked about how the last two films we saw was the brilliance of ensemble work mm -hmm. uh and this is the exact opposite so, of that so i was trying to figure out what i mean once again it could be because he didn't have as much control 
uh, at that time in his career because he was, be. it's, if it's his second or third film, you even uh, even if they were hits, you still don't have the power as he does now as being oh. the man on Rod Kashiap. Um, and so that's I didn't I didn't understand I, I hated Dev in this one. Uh, I'm I'm glad I. We, <laughs> I'm glad he realized he was... It was almost a Romeo and Juliet story where I knew he never loved this girl uh, and I think he just wanted to have sex with her and then he decided to hit her every single time she decided to deny him sex. Uh, it was a very Romeo and Juliet kind of story and I hate Romeo and Juliet, as you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, well, I actually... <laughs> I actually think Romeo and Juliet had love, so um, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I, I, I the, the thing for me was it wasn't even an adaptation; it was just a borrowing and then a, a, a transmutating well, for something other than. Well, that's what he w he wasn't trying to make a Devdas. I, I do know this. He was trying to. He wasn't trying to make like the tenth Devdas film. He was ma he was putting a spin on a story that's been told a thousand times, uh, and so he was he was yeah. just trying to breathe life into it and. And maybe if we have seen all those other films, we'd be able to appreciate it more because people had seen it. I don't know. I can't tell you guys. Maybe. I, I don't, like I said, I don't want to harp on it too much, but we didn't enjoy this one. This is definitely my least favorite on your Kashiap film, but, you know, I loved every single other one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know how much Dev Das, the film with SRK and Ashwari Rai, were... Uh, it's my understanding that it was pretty... Um, uh, complimentary and accurate in translating the book into its film version, the, the Sanjay Leela Bansali version that we've seen. Um, and so much of that story, everything from um, the, the, the cultural significance, not that this had to be Bengali in its nature, but at least give me something more of the cultural significance that enmeshes everybody into the culture, mm. as well as I find the elements in that story are so strong. The lo the thing that holds Devdas together is the love story between Dev and uh, Ashwari Rai, the, the SRK Ashwari Rai connection and the, the tragedy of them not being able to be together and to see that story. And I'm completely open to directors getting a complete new vision and think, reinterpreting and throwing it up there. I didn't mind that because obviously, you know, I didn't really care for that story anyways. Um, but I think he was going for more of a, like, what if they didn't, it didn't end up like a normal Dev Das. And he, it was more of a, uh, just this, it turned into a toxic thing. What if Dev just yeah. became toxic? Uh, which is, you know, something Anyag would explore in his films. Uh, what if yeah. a, a character became just, he became an alcoholic, a drug addict, and he was just toxic to everybody around him. Uh, and it just, it didn't turn out like you normally wanted to. That's something Anyag would do, and I think that's why he, he did it. Um, and so that, that part I don't, I don't really mind. Um, and I, I do enjoy him trying to take those liberties with that story. Uh, it's just, I, I one of the, it's hard for me to get past just the acting because uh, if if that doesn't work, I can't believe anything else. Uh, yeah, <laughs> which is what happened in the the former Devdas. Uh, right, and again, again, as uh, as much as there should be a recognition of the breaking of conventions, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so so for the breaking of conventions is a wonderful thing, but to do it without also incorporating because. There are films we saw that are of this period that were made in 2009 or earlier that, that the acting was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was uniformly, there wasn't any performance in this that I thought was believable. Uh, yeah. that, that, and that was the biggest disappointment for me of all, I, I agree with you, was I had never got invested in any characters. I was never enraptured by anybody's performance. I found things to be unbelievable. I found some continuity errors, again, the accentuation being for a movie that I really disliked, I, I have to applaud what was a really wonderful work of score. I thought the score was actually quite engaging. Mm -hmm. I found a lot of the cinematography choices and the direction of, of the way things were framed and the way they were moved to be a, 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 a real clue to the fact 
It's like if I watched somebody's student film, I would I would look past all of the things that aren't supposed to be high caliber, and I would go, you know what? There's a pretty fantastic director in the making right there, and that's that's the one takeaway from this for me, where I think this reveals that the guy behind all of this was about to become great. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and I'd be interested to see like his even uh, earlier works and just that more. I think because uh, I think most of his stuff is all originals. This is the only thing that's an adaption. I could be totally wrong in that. Um, but the the Black Friday is about the the Bombay shootings. Uh, then I think Gulal has more of a, a political thing behind, it. and you, those have like actors we love i think the black friday has one from gangs in it a couple people and then i think gulal is kk menon uh who is it i don't remember off the top of my head one of i know two, obviously i know i know kk menon but i don't remember if gulal was kk menon or not one of those two has uh, uh kk menon in it and uh and stuff like that so um yeah i'd be I still love on your Kashi up. Uh, it's it oh, doesn't I change. Do it doesn't change a thing. Uh, it's no. just it wasn't our cup of tea. Uh, and well, I, and I, I, we love we love Kalki, and I I really enjoyed uh, a, a ideal. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing his name, but when we saw him in Deborah, which for those of you who are new to the the, the channel, you need to find out what Deborah is because I can see the comments what the Deborah movie. It's in Doggy Namaligi Deborah. I mispronounce it every time. Uh, he was very good in that, and this was obviously pre that. Uh, and I just, yeah. So there you go. Don't yeah. need to harp on it much longer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you could let us know why we're dumb in the comments. Uh, I'm sure yeah. you will. Uh, yeah, tell, tell us what we missed. <laughs> I have no doubt that you will. Uh, and I'm sorry, but let us know what um, uh, on your Kashyap film because I still want to explore all of him. Uh, yep. Of what, what wow. you should watch really? of his. What? On your ride, Kashyap. I still want to explore all of him. <laughs>